Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and welcome to another video. In this video, I would like to mention a situation which I think everybody should be aware about it. Now heads up, this situation is about Terminal and you have been using Terminal for a really long time. Whether you are a Linux fanboy, Mac user or Windows, Terminal is something which we cannot avoid as a developer. The best friend of developer has always been the Terminal. But you might have noticed that over the last decade almost, there is no such innovation in the terminal. They just look all the same and some of them just provide a little bit tiny flashy uh, UIs, but nothing more than that. Some allows you to have more partitions and that's it. That's pretty much it. But this tweet is something that you should watch out because this is from DHH. In case you don't know, DHH is a pretty big name in the IT industry. Yes, of course, I'm talking about the same DHH, the founder of Ruby on Rails and the founder of projects like Basecamp. Let me show you that because I think seeing that is much more beneficial than just talking about it. So look at this. This is a tweet by DHH and I thought let's discuss this because this is where the innovation in the terminal is happening. I am a part of it. I'm using it every day. DHH is using every day. So I think you should also give it a try if you can. Let me walk you through. So DHH recently mentioned that the NeoVim adventure continues. So he is into changing his code editor. And surprisingly, he was using a bit old code editor for a really long time. But this time he's looking forward to check out some new code editor. And obviously NeoVim and the LazyVim is his choice. But what's interesting is if you scroll this a little bit, uh, this is where you'll find this. If you want to give NeoVim a shot on the Mac, brew install it, get some nerd font, pick wherever and whatever is your favorite nerd font is. For me, it's Mona Lisa, but your could be anything else. Then install the LazyVim, but here's the interesting part. Install warp terminal from the warp.dev. Now, what is this and why even DHS is talking about it? It's because it's a terminal worth talking about. And as you can see, there is a nice image here as well. But what I want to show you here is, let me show you my warp instance, which is available here. So this is my instance of the warp and I use it, I have been using it for a really long time. This is something which I think everybody should give it a try. This is the company which, by the way, this is a free product. And as of now it is available for Mac on Linux. But I think this is one such product which is doing innovation in the terminal. A lot of companies are doing innovation on the web, on the databases, but this one is doing it on the terminal. I never expected that this could happen and there could be a company around it doing that. But let me show you why I really prefer that. And a couple of reasons, especially if you are a content writer who write a lot of articles about anything regarding DevOps, Cloud, Ansible, Docker, Kubernetes, you are going to love this. Writing articles using this warp is so much of a breeze. Let me walk you through why. First of all, the suggestions. If I go ahead, here's a different look. Usually the terminal starts at the top, then you keep on writing the commands, it keeps on moving. I don't like that approach much. I like this approach much, where always my terminal is at the bottom and the command sets, the blocks, keeps on moving up. My preferred way. And it helps me in teaching anything which is command line. Git, cloud, DevOps, Ansible, whatever, you name it. For example, first of all, I want to go on to this. So I can just use my arrow keys, not the tab. I know you were expecting tab. Tabs are for different purpose in this one. I can just press my arrow key and I can go into this folder. Further, I can just press a lot more onto this one. For example, I can just press the tab key and now it gives me suggestion, which are a little bit of a visual and mouse friendly. I know a lot of terminal guys hate to touch the mouse, but I love this. I love this, that there is even an option for me and there's a lot of commands that I can work with. For example, I can just go up here and now I can go ahead and check out for other things. For example, node, and as you can see, if I have run this command, it can actually show me command in this way. But there are lots of other options that you can go with this. I can just check out my node version. I can check out my git status with this. Now here's an interesting part. For example, if you think that this is something which I should incorporate in my code article, just right click on this and click on copy. It not only just copy the command, but it also copy the entire output as well. And you can even share this as well if you wish to. Now this alone copy thing helps me so much in preparing the documentation, whether I'm teaching Git or anything, 
people don't want to just see what the command is. People also love to see what's the output of this command. What should I expect? What should I not expect onto this one? So this makes my life a lot more easier. I can just copy this and it makes so much easier. Not only that, the settings panels and everything you'll find pretty interesting in this case. For example, I can just go ahead and look for more of these options if I wish. I can share and all these stuff. Uh, but there is even an AI involved into this one. You can just ask wrap AI. Of course, everything has to be wrapped up with the AI. And they just do it seamlessly. I can just click on this and I can ask questions like a prompt. It's almost like a chat GPT is baked in in my terminal. I don't have to leave it any place. And I can ask questions like, how do I find all files containing specific text? And of course, I have to use grep, but I don't know exactly the command. I don't remember it. And it gives me this command. I can just copy this or I can just insert this code in the terminal or I can just use some of the workflows as variables. There are so many more. Uh, what should I do next? Show examples. This is where AI actually enhances your developer workflow rather than just worrying about, will it take my job? This is the proper use case of it. And bringing this thing into the terminal itself, I, I think that's innovation. And that's why I love a lot about it. Now, by the way, there are a lot of themes and settings around it. Like you can change your appearances. There's a lot of them. I love to be it, it a little bit zoomed up so that I can teach it. There are lots of features, keyboard shortcuts and everything. So I think that this is where you find a lot of interesting thing. And I think somebody needs to make videos about a lot of developer tools, which we use day to day life. And probably you can also try them out. So this is my take. And again, uh, being used by DHH, it gives an additional confirmation that yes, it is definitely worth giving a try. In case you want to try it out, they recently rolled out a Linux version for it. And they have so many of these features. You can check out the branches and whatnot. I will definitely make more videos around it that how the command generation reusable workflow. By the way, you should try their reusable workflow. They do it like nobody else. It just saves everything. And you can just even make Docker containers in every project with these workflows. It's it's so simple with that. So go ahead, check this out. And yep, built in, built in with Rust. So that's why this also got a lot of attention about from the Rust enthusiast that how fast or how can we re-innovate the things which we never thought are possibly can be done. So uh, that's my take on to one of the tools that I used on every single day. And you obviously have seen me or will definitely see in the future that I teach a lot of stuff these days on RAP. It's fun. And that's all I'm saying. So give it a try if you are on a Mac or a Linux. Give it a try. It's something that you'll find fresh, refreshing, and new take on the terminal. That's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, small, uh, nice little video about the tools that I use. I'll definitely make more videos around it. And if you are new onto this channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section your thoughts about this innovation in the terminal space. I'll surely catch you up in the next video.